My father-in-law is a stud, a man with great experience who knows how to treat a woman, in every sense. I know it's wrong and that I shouldn't do it, but ever since I was with him, I couldn't forget that experience. My father-in-law is like the guy every woman would want to have by her side. I'm not kidding. He has that perfect combination of charm, intelligence, and that irresistible alpha male touch. I know, I should keep my eyes on my partner and not his father. But what can I do? There are things that a woman alone can't resist. And my father-in-law, well, he has that in abundance. The first time I met him, I tried to keep calm and detached. After all, he was my partner's father. But something about his playful smile and piercing gaze made me think that maybe, just maybe, there could be something more between us. I shouldn't mess with him, I know. But things got out of hand. How was I supposed to know that simple, innocent conversations would turn into wild encounters and lustful glances? What frustrates me the most is that I can't help it. No matter how hard I try to stay away, I always seem to end up falling into his hands. And he, well, he seems to enjoy every moment of it as much as I do. It's not like we're planning anything bad. No, nothing like that. We're just going with the chemistry between us. But I know it's wrong. I know I can't go on like this. My partner doesn't even suspect what's going on. And that's the worst part of it all. I'm cheating, and it makes me feel a little guilty. But when I'm with my father-in-law, all of that seems to disappear. I'm trapped in this relationship, where every encounter with my father-in-law is like an escape to another world where the rules are made to be broken, and temptation is stronger than any sense of responsibility. Sneaking away from my partner, I find myself looking for any opportunity to spend time alone with him. From innocent pretenses to outright lies, every moment I share with my father-in-law becomes a tantalizing whisper, a shared secret that brings out the worst in me. I live a double life, one I share with my partner and another I keep secret from his own father. I know it's a dangerous game, and that at any moment I can lose everything. On one hand, I'm with my partner, sharing moments of love that should be enough to fill any void in my heart. But on the other hand, I'm with his father, in a relationship based on passion, desires, and lies. It's an unsustainable situation, I know. At some point, all these lies will come to light and everything will fall apart. But for now, I'm still in this dangerous game. I know I'm playing with fire, that I'm risking everything for a moment of pleasure. But the attraction between my father-in-law and I is so intense, so irresistible, that I can't resist his call. The problem is that the more time passes, the harder it becomes to hide my double life. The lies pile up on top of each other, and at any moment I'll be exposed as the traitor I am. I know that eventually someone will find out, and when that happens, I'll be in deep trouble. Not only will I have betrayed my partner, but I'll have also destroyed the relationship between father and son, sowing discord and mistrust where there was once only love. It all started the day my partner introduced me to his father. I remember that moment clearly, I was a little nervous as we sat together in his living room. From the moment his eyes landed on me, I knew something was off. My father-in-law looked at me in a way that couldn't go unnoticed. There was a glint of desire in his gaze, a hunger that seemed to want something more. And although at first I tried to ignore it, over time it became impossible to overlook his increasingly obvious insinuations. I remember how he used to say things to me, seemingly innocent comments that carried a hidden double meaning. His words made me feel uncomfortable, but at the same time they awakened something inside me, a fire that made me think dark thoughts. I realized what was happening, of course. How could I not realize it? But I couldn't say anything to my partner. If I did, he would surely think badly of me, believing that I was making things up or that I had other intentions. 
So I stayed quiet, swallowing my discomfort and trying to ignore the lustful glances my father-in-law gave me every time we were together. But inside, I knew something was wrong. I knew this couldn't end well for either of us. Then, the moment came when the insinuations stopped being insinuations. My father-in-law, with his intense gaze and a voice full of desire, openly confessed to me that he wanted to be with me. It was like a shock that ran through my entire body, leaving me breathless and speechless. I clearly remember the moment he told me. We were alone, in the kitchen of his house, preparing the family dinner. Suddenly, without warning, he looked me in the eyes and said in a deep voice, I want to be with you. I froze. My hands froze on the cutting board, my face turning a little red. For a moment, I didn't know what to say, how to react to this unexpected confession. But instead of pulling away or rejecting him, something inside me responded to this declaration of desire. A part of me, the same one that had been rejecting his attention for so long, felt a surge of excitement at the possibility of exploring what I had been denying. So instead of ignoring his confession or rejecting him, I just smiled and nodded, letting his game of desire that had been burning hot even more. I knew I was entering dangerous territory, that I was playing with fire by doing this, but at that moment, I just didn't know what to do. Then, everything got even more complicated. My father-in-law's confession only made things worse, adding another layer of tension and danger to the game. Every time he saw me, his eyes would drift downwards, you know what I mean. But what really made me fear for my safety was what was going on at my partner's house. Every time I showered there, I had the eerie feeling that someone was watching me, as if there was someone following every move I made underwater. And more than once, while changing in the bedroom, I noticed the door ajar, as if someone was spying from the other side. A chill ran down my spine every time I was met with that sight, wondering who could be lurking in the dark, watching my every move with some intent. I tried to ignore those feelings, telling myself that it was just paranoia, that my mind was playing tricks on me. But every time I found the door ajar or felt that invisible gaze on me in the shower, I couldn't help but feel more and more insecure, more and more vulnerable. Because I knew that deep down, my father-in-law was playing a dangerous game with me, one that could have consequences for me. My partner and I usually stayed overnight at my in-law's house on the weekends, and we spent the whole day together. That Sunday was no exception, and we decided to take a nap together, you know, to cuddle for a while and sleep for a while. After a couple of restorative hours of sleep, my partner stirred and gently woke me up. He told me he was going out to buy something and would be back soon. Still asleep, I nodded, barely aware of what was happening around me, and settled back in, hoping to drift off to sleep. Between sleep and wakefulness, I experienced a sense of peace and comfort as I rested. However, at one point, half asleep, I felt soft caresses on my skin. I thought they were loving gestures for my partner, and in my drowsy state, I let them continue, enjoying the sensation they gave me. But as those caresses intensified and became more passionate, I immersed myself in the moment, letting desire and passion take control. Surrounded by the intimate and passionate atmosphere, I gave myself over to the moment, sharing a fiery encounter with who I thought was my partner. However, the surprise came when, in the midst of passion and darkness, I saw him and realized that the person I was sharing that moment with was not my partner, but my father-in-law. I was paralyzed, overwhelmed by a mix of confusion, surprise and satisfaction at what was happening. In an instant, the room was filled with an awkward silence, broken only by the accelerated beating of my heart. I felt trapped in an unexpected and disturbing situation, because of what I had just done. After that passionate moment, my father-in-law asked me to keep quiet about what had happened. His words in my ear were laden with a silent, desperate plea, and for a moment, I found myself indecisive caught between the desire to keep the peace and the need to face the truth. I sat there in bed, my mind confused by the situation. 
On one hand, there was confusion and bewilderment at what had just happened. It was a moment that, while confusing and disturbing, I had also enjoyed in some ways. And that satisfaction, mixed with guilt and shame, made me question my own morality and values. My father-in-law's words rang in my head, reminding me of the weight of his plea and the gravity of the situation we were in. Should I keep quiet and keep up this lie to protect family peace? Or should I face the truth and tell everything? It's strange how that moment of intimacy could change everything. From that day on, a strange feeling began to grow inside me. Despite the confusion and conflict that had arisen, I couldn't ignore the uncomfortable truth. I had begun to feel things I shouldn't for my father-in-law. It was disconcerting and unsettling to admit, but something about this whole forbidden situation had drawn me in a strange way. Maybe it was the intensity of the moment, or the excitement of the situation, but I couldn't deny that something had happened between us that intrigued and fascinated me in some way. I found myself reflecting on what had happened over and over again, trying to understand what it was that I truly felt. It was a confusing mix of emotions, guilt, shame, but also a strange feeling of satisfaction and attraction, as if I had discovered a part of myself that I didn't know about. On one hand, there was the voice of reason telling me that what had happened was wrong, that I was cheating on my partner and defying the norms. But on the other hand, there was the voice of desire, whispering to me that there was something between me and my father-in-law that was real and powerful, something that had awakened a desire within me. I didn't tell my partner anything about what had happened. Instead of telling him and ending it all, I decided to keep quiet and continue the dangerous game I had started. It was easier that way, more convenient. Instead of facing the consequences and facing the reality of what had happened, I preferred to sink even deeper into the lie I had created. I let myself go with the flow of desire and attraction, ignoring the warnings of my conscience and reason. From that point on, every encounter, every stolen moment with my father-in-law, only fueled the fire that burns between us. Despite the guilt and shame I feel, I can't help but yearn for more, seek more, desperately wanting to experience the passion we shared again. I ask myself over and over again if what I'm doing is wrong. If this betrayal, this lie I've created around myself, is somehow justifiable. If the desire and passion I feel is enough to keep me going through with all of this. I ask you, would you do the same in my place? Would you give in to desire, no matter the consequences? Or would you fight the currents of temptation and seek truth and honesty, even if it means destroying a family? It all started as a game, but now I find myself in an even more complicated and dangerous situation. My father-in-law, aware of my secret and the power he has over me, has begun to manipulate and threaten me into silence. Every time I try to walk away or end this forbidden relationship, he comes up with a series of twisted manipulations and threats that keep me trapped in his game. He makes me feel guilty and vulnerable, using my own emotions against me to keep me under his control. It's like I'm trapped in a macabre game, where every move I make is scrutinized and manipulated by my father-in-law. I feel helpless and trapped, not knowing how to break free from this situation without causing even greater harm. Every day is a struggle to maintain my sanity and integrity, as my father-in-law continues to exert his power over me with an iron fist. I know I can't go on like this forever, that I'll eventually have to face the truth and take the consequences. But now, I find myself trapped in an endless cycle of lies and manipulations, with no end in sight. And as I continue to struggle to find a way out, I wonder if I'll ever be able to break free from my father-in-law's grasp and reclaim my own life. I have a question in my head, one that becomes more and more urgent as the secrets and lies pile up, should I tell someone about this? The idea of revealing the truth, of releasing this weight I've been carrying in silence, is tempting. But at the same time, the fear of the consequences, of the judging stares and the possible destruction of the family, paralyzes me. I wonder if I should trust someone with this secret, if I should open my heart and expose the truth to the world. But who can I turn to? My partner, 
whose trust one have betrayed in the cruelest way. A close friend, whose look of disappointment might be too painful to bear. Or should I keep silent and carry this weight alone? Each option seems to carry with it immense risk, and I find myself caught in an internal struggle over which path I should take. On one hand, I feel the urgency to free myself from this toxic situation. But on the other hand, the fear of rejection makes me hesitate to take that step. 